Hi there, in this week's video I'm going to be talking to you about the benefits of time blocking and also how using colour can help you be more productive in your work week. We're going to jump into my computer so I can show you how I do this but first of all, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim. I help therapists get online, get confident with admin and reduce tech overwhelm. So let's jump into my computer so I can show you all about time blocking. And the first thing I'm going to take you through is a perfect week exercise. And what that is, is a spreadsheet that I've created. So you can do this in Excel. I've got it in Google Sheets. And I've just set up Monday to Sunday. And then I've got from 7 till 6 p.m. And I have it in half an hour blocks. So each one of these cells, each one of these like rectangles are half an hour blocks. And what we want to do is start plotting all the things that we need to do in our week. Now, some of this is going to be what you currently do. But what I really want you to think about is if it was your perfect week, how would you want to plan things out? So currently you might be seeing clients at times you don't want to see them. So we want to try and work towards this week. But the first thing we're going to do is plot down our must do's. So these are probably going to be more personal things, um, but they're going to be things that you have to do in your week. And they can be things like school runs. Um, they can be things like any um, after school clubs that your children have. They could be things that you have committed to. So maybe they are, uh, you know, maybe you've signed up for a course that you're doing and you have to be somewhere at a certain time. Um, they could also be um, housework, all the fun stuff that we need to do. So I'm going to start plotting that down first. So the first thing that is one of my must do's is the school run. So I'm going to just put that in from half eight till nine, and then I'm going to drag that along so that it's on there Monday to Friday. I'm also going to copy it and put it down here too, because I also have to pick them up. Um, in the morning, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna block that time out because that's gonna be my morning routine, and um, that's not like a fun morning routine with meditation and all that kind of stuff. It's just getting the kids ready. So what I've done here is I've grabbed the free cells and I've just clicked on this button, which is merge cells. And now, when I put in morning routine, that's gonna take up the whole 90 minutes. So from seven o'clock to half past eight, that's gonna be my morning routine, rather than doing it like this. copying that down three times and having like loads of writing it just looks a bit neater like this so I'm just going to delete that and I'm just going to drag that along again to Friday so that's blocked out my morning routine so other things I have to do let's just put some few a few things in there so on Mondays the kids have swimming so let's put that there for a bit on Thursday they have gymnastics so let's put that on there uh, let's also say that I like to do my shopping on a Friday morning for an hour. There we go. So they are now my must-dos. The next thing we're going to look at is the fun stuff. So before we start thinking about where, let's plan in some fun stuff. So that could be whatever is fun for you. That could be going to the gym. That could be meeting up with a friend. That could be... Um, your lunch breaks, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to plan that in next. So before we even get to work, we're planning in our fun stuff. Now, just to know, I only like to plan Monday to Friday. So my Saturday and Sundays are actually just going to be left blank. Um, I don't work on Saturdays and Sundays, um, but I also don't want to have like a plan for every single minute of every single day of the week. I like to have some space. I like to see some white once I'm once I've done this color coding. I like to see some white space. I'm not actually going to plan in anything for Saturday or Sunday. That's kind of like my free days. So let's plan in that I'm going to have a lunch break between one and half one every day. So we'll plan that in there. Okay. We're also going to plan that on Mondays. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to plan that in. I'm also uh, on a Wednesday night, I go to yoga. So let's put that on there. And obviously, if your week is not a seven to six week, um, you can add extra lines in. So you can insert lines, you can delete lines, you can, you know, make it make it your own. This is just a template that you can use, which I'll leave in the description below that you can just, you know, get this template for yourself. So they are my must. So that is my fun stuff.
So the next thing we want to plan in is our work. So for a therapist, that's going to be your client work. So your session times when you're going to see your clients, but it's also going to be things like admin, your supervision, your invoicing time, when you want to do your accounts, all that kind of stuff. So that's the next thing we're going to bl block in here. So I'm going to block in my client sessions. So I'm going to block that off there and then I'm going to see three clients in the morning here. I'm also going to see them on Tuesday at that time. put that in there. Um, I'm also going to block in my admin time here. There will be more client sessions than that, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to block in some admin time. So let's put in um, email. So I'm going to check emails that time. We should probably also check it on a Monday. But this is just this is just to show you what's going on. So check emails then. And then Friday, I don't see any clients. I'm going to do all my admin. So I'm going to do 10 to 11. I am going to do my invoicing. 11 till 1, I am going to do my practice admin. Okay, so you can see kind of how it's looking now once you start building out all of the things that you need to do. So when you look at this and you've got it all on there, nothing really stands out when you've got it in just a white background. Um, you can't see where you're client heavy or where you are admin heavy or when you've got a lot of fun stuff you've got to look forward to. Obviously, you can like read what you're doing, but without having the color on there, it's really difficult to see what your day is going to look like and what kind of headspace you need to be in. Am I in a real you know, client? Um, therapy headspace or am I doing my admin that day and it's really good to be able to like block those things off in time so what you want to do is you want to then label create some colors and label them so that you can start plotting the colors on the spreadsheet now I don't like loud bold colors I just find them really overwhelming so I like quite um, pastel colors more calming but you can choose any you want so to change your color if you if you're in Google Sheets, you just click on the cell you want to change, come up to this paint um, pot here, it says fill color, and then you can choose any of the colors that are here. Or you can go to custom color, add, you can use the bar here to change the color to you want, and then you can use this here to change, you know, how, however you want it there, and click OK. Or you can just use a particular hex code that you know. So if you have like brand colors that you want to stick to, you can use the actual hex code there and click OK. So then you want to fill them in. So I've chosen personal, client work, admin, and training. Oh, I didn't put my supervision in there. Let's put that in here. There we go. We'll put that down there. OK, so my morning routine, the school runs, shopping, going to the gym, all these school runs, swimming, gymnastics, yoga. So that's all my personal. So I've just selected them and I'm going to make them purple. My client sessions. They are going to be green. And then I've got my admin. is orange lunch is also personal put that in there and then supervision is pink there we go so now it's looking you know a lot nicer and what I've done here is I've done an example of one that's completely filled in and you can really see how the colors make things pop and how you can really get into a headspace of what it is you're doing kind of batching things together so that's the first exercise of creating your perfect week and you might not be able to get there right away 
but it's something to work towards. The reason I like to have this on Excel, what I do is I print it out, I put it like on my wall where I can see it, because then it doesn't matter what I'm working on on the computer or what I'm doing, I can always look up and kind of see what it is that I'm working towards, what my day is going to look like. Obviously that has its downsides with regards, to it can't give you notifications or reminders of what's coming up. So that is why I also wanna show you how you can do it on Google Calendar. Okay, so we're in my calendar now. I've chosen to use Google Calendar but you can use iCal or even Outlook Calendar they can all do similar things and I'm sure that you'll be able to search on YouTube and find one specific to the calendar that you want to use so that you can learn how to create calendars and change colors and things like that so what you're going to do is when you're in Google calendars you have your calendars here so you've got your main calendar of whatever your email address is but then you can add additional calendars so you'll have this one here at the top, I've changed to client appointments and that's my main calendar. So whenever I create a new appointment, it's going to automatically put it as a client appointment. So always uh, select this top one as your main calendar, uh, the main thing you're going to um, put on your calendar, which is why I've put client appointments on there. And then you can add all the different calendars, just like we had on the perfect week, all these different topics here, you can add here. So I've got an admin one, I've got a personal one, I've got a training one here, and I'm going to show you how to add a new calendar. So if you want to click add other calendars, we're going to create a new calendar. You're going to give it a name and create the calendar. So I am going to call this fitness because I am focusing on my fitness this year and so I want a specific calendar for everything when I'm doing you know my walking or my yoga or my gym or whatever so we're going to create calendar okay so then I'm going to come out of the settings and you can see here we've got a fitness um, calendar that has been added now it's going to give it a free color so a color that is available for you that's different to the rest and if you want to change the color of that if you click on these three dots you can use these um buttons here to change your color or you can click on add and you've got the same thing that you had before on um, Google Sheets where you can you know select what kind of color you want so let's have like a pinky color kind of there we go and now our fitness is in pink and it's like a, a nice light color so then what you want to do is do exactly the same thing that you did on the spreadsheet but you're going to do it on the calendar so then what you would do is start plotting out your week in your calendar um, and this is going to be better for you because you're going to be able to set up the notifications get your reminders and things like that in each of these calendars you can have different notification settings so with client appointments if i click on settings what i might want here is just a five minute so i'm going to delete that and i just want five minute notification before the appointment just so i can um, get a little notification that comes up and i can get zoom ready and all that kind of stuff so once i've changed that i can go into the settings whereas with my fitness because i need to travel somewhere because i need to make sure i'm wearing the right clothes i am going to give myself a bit more notification so i'm going to add the notification i need one hour I need a one hour notification so that I can start getting ready. And maybe with my training, I need to do some homework before I do that. So maybe I need a day's notice. So let's do that. So settings and sharing, and I just need a notification. So I need one day before, and then I'll just have five minutes before so that I can get ready for it. Once you set up those notifications in your settings, that's gonna always put that on there. So if you do need to change them, you can always update them once you've created your appointment, but otherwise they'll all be set for you so you don't even need to worry about that. So then we're gonna plot out our days. Let's say I've got my morning routine. So I wanna put my morning routine in here. Okay, that's seven till half past eight. And I'm going to change that to personal. I don't need to do, I can repeat that every day. So let's repeat every weekday, Monday to Friday and save. So that is going to add those on there. What I can do is add specific things about that. So let's say on a Thursday, my son needs to wear his PE kit. What I can do is 
edit the event and I can add the description and put PE kit or remember PE kit. And I'm going to save it to that event. Whereas on a Tuesday, this particular Tuesday, uh, they have a school trip. So school trip, remember wellies. So you can add on a specific thing that you need to be reminded about in there. For example, and just set it for this event or all events or whatever. So now when I hover over here, you can see it says school trip, remember wellies, and that will give me notification of whenever I've set that up for. So if I now come over to the week that I have created, you can see how that now looks once you've booked everything in. And what I've got here is I've got specific therapy sessions here. So I know that I'm seeing this person. I can just put initials on there and I'll do a future video about how you can set up appointments and be able to send them to your clients with a Zoom link and all the information about your appointments at a later time. But basically, now you have your calendar set up. It's all in the color blocks that you want. You can see where you're really client heavy, where you're really admin heavy and things like that. You can obviously add as many colors or as little colors as you want to make it uh, work for you. And what you can also do is sync it to your phone so that you can get the notifications on your phone um, as opposed to on your desktop. The good thing about using the Google Calendar is that you can create recurring appointments, um, but then also delete them as needed. So you could set up, take kids to school every single day for the whole year. And then on the weeks that they have half term, for example, you can just delete that one day, that one week, whatever it is. So it's really good to be able to personalize your life and really know exactly what you're doing each day. Go into one place to have a look what you've got going on. So what I like to do is the at the end of the day, I look at the next day and see what I've got going on. And then I can know, OK, right, I need to be in an admin mindset or I need to, I know that I'm seeing these clients so that you can get ready for uh, the next day. Working like this is also great because if you know that you've got some time set aside for your practice admin, you don't need to worry about trying to fit it in between clients because you know, okay, I've got two hours set aside to do my practice admin. You can click into it, edit and add all the things it is that you've got to do and know and trust yourself that you've got enough time to do them. You've also got dedicated times to check your emails. So I've put in here twice a day. So you don't need to worry about seeing a notification pop up on your phone or on your computer that you need to read an email. You know that, OK, well, I'm going to my I'm coming to my emails at 1.30 so that I, I will check them then. So you're not darting back and forth between different tasks. Batching is a really good way to be able to organize yourself and get better productivity for what you're doing. So you can just be in the right flow state. I'm just going to do my admin now. I'm just looking at emails now. And you don't need to worry about other things that are going on because you know that you've got time to deal with all that stuff. So that was how to color code and time block using a spreadsheet and also how to do it on Google Calendar. Thanks for watching. I'd love to know in the comments what you find really helpful when you are planning out your week and trying to manage all your administration in your private practice. Until next time, bye for now.